How to YouTube, and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So today we're going to be revisiting the new Segola 4600. Now, this gun, for those of you who are not aware, has been revised by Segola. So yeah, the Segola 4600, that's what it's called now. For a while it was the Segola 4600 Extreme. So yeah, the new revision, they dropped the Extreme branding. But yeah, I just want to make it clear from the very start, I've actually been a little bit let down with the performance after using these and after sort of going back to my regular spray guns, say like the DV-1 base gun. Even I've been revisiting the, um, the Iwata Supernovas for base coat and for clear coat and I've been really impressed with them but yeah every time I come back to this one I'm just like wow that fan is tiny um, and it's kind of a bit of a broken fan pattern so you can see sort of dead zones within that fan right um, and yeah I, I mean I've got so many guns that's no secret but I just really struggled to want to grab this one like I've got no real reason that like it doesn't stand out as a better gun performance wise than any of the other. Uh, if anything, it's, it's probably, yeah, lower performance. Now, it does have some big pluses to it. Like, you know, they're a very robust, well-built spray gun. They don't have um, seals in them like most other spray guns do. So um, any industrial spray painting and stuff like that, you know, um, you can sort of throw them around, you can dunk them in thinners over the weekend and you're not gonna be running the risk of damaging the spray gun. But um, for myself, I just can't, um, yeah, see why I would grab that over the DV one with the massive fan on it, which sprays base coat effortlessly, or you know, the clear coat um, over so many different spray guns that I have when you've got such a small spray fan on it. So that's my main gripe with this gun at the moment. And like I say, they get so much right, um, they're nice and fast. That was one of the big criticisms from the 3600 Extreme, um, and it was a pretty common criticism if you went online and you know. Um, read some forums and stuff like that a lot of people would criticize the the speed so it look i don't think all hope is lost with segola i think they will take this um this criticism they'll take it seriously and they will look into it and determine whether or not they believe that we we're on to something but if you do um put this gun next to pretty much any of the other top of the line or even mid mid-range spray guns the fan is quite small and it does have a bit of an uneven spray fan to it spray pattern to it so what i'm doing there is just holding the gun upside down so i can um gauge exactly where full fan is and then wind it in one full turn that's if, if you're just wondering why i've got the gun upside down but it's not helped by um, having to drop that pressure down for the um, base coat that I'm using is the PPG Enviro Base and I find that that likes to go on at say like 20 PSI so that will naturally sort of shrink any fan like the lower pressure that you use but yeah when you've got a small fan to start off with and then you have to drop that pressure down you're just left with this tiny little fan and don't get me wrong like i can make this gun work like the end result of this job you can barely fault it like i'm not saying that the end result is any worse than what i would have got with say my dv1 even the clear coat you know but when you're doing an extra few passes that you know you shouldn't really have to and you're not getting much performance improve if anything then it's just a real tough ask for me to go and grab this gun over say even my db1 clear gun you know my sata cc and lately like i said i've been going back to the supernovas and absolutely loving the performance on them i do need to do a revisited review on them because like something yeah like i found a setting and i it was an I, I stumbled across it by accident but it changes everything this changes everything but there you go, there's the Segola 4600, it's got the base coat cap on it, it's a 1.3 XL fluid tip on it, DVR base as you can see there. And look, I do thank um, Segola for sending it out, they did send it out for purpose of review, but I'm not going to sell my soul for a spray gun, you know, I'm just going to tell you guys how I see it. I'm not, um, and also the other thing, like I'm putting my reputation at risk, if I'm just going to go out here and say, oh this is just the, the best new spray gun just because I've got a free one, um, well then you guys are going to be like, damn man, this guy said it was awesome and then it's not really that good of a spray gun, I don't really race it, you know. But in saying that, like they're more than, they're more than capable, but they're just not the best, you know what I mean? And, and another surprising thing actually, uh, and I don't even know what to make of this, right? So I actually had like, it was a solid colour, right? It was, um, it was a loan car, I think, from my boss. It was just 2K direct gloss. 
and I thought, hey, this would be a good opportunity to try the difference between the ANI F160 compared to the Segola, the new Segola 4600, right? And I put them side by side, and visually, um, the fan on the ANI was heaps bigger. So what I did was I got the same paint in each gun with a different um, PPS cap on it or whatever, so, um, ready to sort of do a hot swap as they're in the spray booth there. And I measured out half of the bonnet and I counted the amount of passes that it took with the ANI with the bigger fan, definitely bigger visually um, bigger fan on it. And then I got the Segola and it was exactly the same. Like I, <laughs> so I don't even know what to make of that. Um, what looks like a massive fan didn't perform any better or than the what appears to be a smaller fan. Like I say, I really don't know what to make of that. And I felt like I was sort of doing the same distances, but when it does come to distances and speeds, there's just a sweet spot, you know what I mean? You set your pressure to the right pressure and there will just be the spot on the fan where you know that um, the paint's meant to hit the panel, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it definitely does open the fan up, as you can probably tell from uh, what we were putting the base coat down, it was a small fan, like I say, that's partially due to the, um, the lower pressure that we had to use because it was base coat. Um, so yeah, not as bad for clear coat, but let us know what you think guys. What do you think of the Segola? Would you buy one? Would you sort of hold off until hopefully they make one with a slightly larger fan on it? And it may be something as simple as they can just um, release a new air cap which solves all those issues. I don't know. They may not be able to, um, but yeah, time will tell I guess. Um, they may just... Uh, say you're wrong gunman you, you're totally off the mark with this one there's nothing wrong with the fan um, but I can definitely see some like dead zones in it again you know it doesn't necessarily seem to leave you with a bad finish you know and look that's a, um, a silver metallic like a light silver metallic if you were gonna see train tracks or you know a bad finish that's what you would see it on you know so and that's more than acceptable. I can see some very fine mottling, but it's, this is actually one of those things that you sort of, you can't get much better than that. That's my experience, at least with um, the PPG and Firebase. I can, I can get it a little bit better than that with, actually, yeah, you can pretty much get it perfect with um, Stando Blue and the Chromax Pro and Spees High Tech, but that's pretty much the ceiling for what I, and even if you're cross hatching and you know, getting all fancy with it that seems to be the best I've ever been able to get it with Envirobase but there you go guys um, a little bit of a shorter video this time for you Luke Owens this uh, video is dedicated to you the guy on Facebook who has been hounding me to revisit this um, spray gun there you go mate you got your own gunman video but for the rest of you hope you did enjoy um, yeah give us a big thumbs up if you want to support the show be sure to go and check out the link in the description you can buy yourself some gunman merch if you want one of these guns, spray guns direct do have them in stock now, so head over there. Um, I could probably even put a link in the description for that too if you want. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Coming out. Terrible.